Here's some of the updates for the hair tube builder. Let's dive into what's new. At first you can see the UI is more compact now. Curve toggle is now an icon. Clicking on it will make curves always on top. The strand curves colors will have an increased contrast in this version, which will make it easier to distinguish them. Strands or layers can now be isolated. Isolating will not hide anything else in Maya. It will only isolate and hide the strands from the hair tube builder. You can either select strand curves and clicking on the isolate button or middle mouse clicking on a layer to isolate. Control clicking on layers and then clicking middle mouse on them will isolate selected layers. You can now also toggle preview shaders between Lambert, Blin, Fong, or surface shaders. Just be aware that at this moment, if you change the color directly, the color swatch on the layer will not reflect and can cause issues later on. Maya's lattice tool is also added to allow quick adjustment of shape on multiple strands. You can use the option box to adjust the lattice settings. When you are done, simply select all the curves and click on Bake Lattice to clean it up. When a strand is created, it's in default preview subdivision mode. You can now click on the smoothing button to toggle the preview subdivision of a strand. This will make it easier to see your strand tubes if you have any crease edges on them. On to the editor, adding or removing a CV to the shaping curves will be easier now. You can simply click on the curve to add a point. To remove a point, hold down Ctrl and click, if you drag on the curve, you will see the highlighted CV to be removed. After any CV adjustment on the shaping curves, you will need to refresh the crease edges if you have them. This is because the CV's order has changed. Simply click on the crease checkbox to refresh it. There are also three new offset parameters added to the editor. These are tied to the twist controls. You can use this to create offset to your twists. Just be mindful that, when the offset is larger, the strand will be flatter. In this version, middle mouse clicking on any parameter names will reset the slider. There is now an auto UV option in the editor, with three options to choose from. Let's disable the smoothing and crease preview to demonstrate this better. Choosing stripe will make a rectangle UV from top to bottom. At initial unwrap, the seam has been cut at a default edge. But we can change the seam position by going to the root or the tip shaping curve, select a vertex, and click set refresh UV button. To view the UV, select the strand curve first, and then click on Select Geometry option. The seam will be cut on the CV that we selected. You can also choose the grid option to lay out the UV into one-to-one -one space, or choose Unfold to unwrap the UV organically. One thing to mention is that, if you want to do any UV adjustment or geometry adjustment, you will probably won't be able to do any of that, unless you unlock the geometry first. Once the geometry is unlocked, you will then be able to adjust the UVs, or the vertex, freely. However, it's highly recommended, if you need to set the auto UVs, any adjustment to the UV or the vertex, they should be done towards the very end. Here's why. If we change the subdivisions, you can see the UV is broken, this is because we changed the topology of the tube. You can simply just choose the UV option again to re-UV it. Finally, make sure to lock the geometry again. For copying and pasting, we now have more options in terms of what to paste. Let's select a strand curve and click on copy first. If we choose to paste only shape, it will just paste the root curve and the tip curve shape. If we choose to paste only attributes, it will just paste the strand control parameters. Worth mentioning here, if you choose to paste only attributes, but had crease preview on, you will sometimes see this weird thick edges happening. This is because the crease settings is not included in the paste only attribute options. Just click on the crease geometry checkbox to fix this. The other two pasting options are pretty straightforward, let's go to the last option. 
choosing the Select Custom Paste options will allow you to pick the parameters to paste. This will be useful when you just want to copy-paste specific parameters from one strand to the other, such as just the scale value, or just the UV settings. Lastly, a preset function has been added. You will now be able to save a preset and reuse it in the current or other scenes.